today. We are going to have so much fun, y'all. We are going to spend some time together today redecorating my guest bedroom. This episode is going to be filled with some really fun thrift flips, some amazing DIY decor pieces, as well as a really fun accent wall. <laughs> are y'all ready to do this? Let's go. my channel. It is so good to see you all. I hope you had a fantastic week. I am really looking forward to spending some time together today. We are downstairs in my guest bedroom and in today's episode we are going to walk through step by step how Michael and I renovated this entire bedroom on a DIY budget. Okay, y'all, so the very first project that we tackled for this space is the stressor that you see behind me. It did not look like this <laughs> a couple of weeks ago or a few weeks ago. This dresser was given to us. It's a thrifted piece and it was a mess when it came to us. So the first thing Michael and I did was we stripped the whole thing of all of the old yucky paint that was on it and then we converted it from a four drawer dresser to a six door drawer dresser. Added some really nice accent wood pieces to the top and the bottom, added some brand new legs, gave it a great paint job, added some new hardware to the drawers, and the end result is absolutely stunning. I love how this piece turned out. The feel that I'm going for in this room is sort of a mid-century, a, a mid-century mid-century modern look and feel. So I think we did a really good job pulling that together with this dresser. Hopefully this will give y'all a little bit of an idea of what this dresser looked like before Michael and I got started. So we did cut this whole bottom section off. This, these legs were kind of built in to the unit as one piece. So we cut those off. Then of course we took all the drawers out, gave them a good painting, put all new pulls, and then Michael with his genius woodworking skills created two extra set of drawers to put on this. We do paint these drawers, but I wanted y'all to see what it looked like with the addition of the two extra drawers. <laughs> footage from all of the work that we did to this dresser. I don't know what happened to it. I am just devastated. It makes my heart so sad when I lose things. I, I upload things to the cloud and kind of store things in the cloud and I don't know what happened to some of my footage. I think cyberspace ate it. <laughs> I did get a new phone and when I transferred all of the documents, that's where things went crazy and wonky. <laughs> so I do apologize that we don't have a full before, and, but we do have the full after, so I think you'll be able to get, a, get an idea and get the feel of how we gave this dresser a much needed makeover. Okay, y'all, so the second project that I want to tackle for this space is this cute little writing desk that I had. And I have had this writing desk, oh my gosh, I have probably had it for 25 years or better. And it also needed a much needed makeover. So I stripped the entire thing and I decided I wanted to keep the top part of this just natural wood. So I do want a lot of natural wood elements in this room. That was one of the things that I just felt was important to give this room that nice, warm, homey, cozy feeling. So we kept the top on this, all natural wood, painted the legs and the skirting and gave the drawer a new pull. 
All right, y'all, so here is a little look of what this little writing desk looked like before I started working on it. And as I was sanding this top piece, oh gosh, y'all, I was so excited to find this gorgeous wood underneath this paint. So it was such a satisfying pr process to expose all that beautiful natural wood. It was a little bit hard for me to strip the rest of this down though, so I just decided to go ahead and paint the skirting and the legs all black, but we do leave the top piece on this that beautiful gorgeous exposed natural wood I think it's amazing how paint can just transform a piece so drastically I love how this piece turned out and the difference really is night and day decided to redo this room we had a budget and the budget you know we all have budgets right and so to stay within our budget I did try to reuse several of the pieces that we already had in here and one of the pieces was this really beautiful old rocker that has been around for a really long time it's rocked all of my children some of my grandchildren and even a few of my nieces and nephews so yes this rocker has been around for a really long time it's old and so I knew that the, the original color, because it was stained, that just really orangish kind of stain color, and I just didn't like it. And I knew it wasn't going to fit very well with the decor style that I was going for in this space. So I simply painted it, y'all. And I know, don't come at me for painting it, but you know, it was just one of those things where the orange color was just not working for me. So I painted it black and y'all, the end result is gorgeous. I absolutely love this. I think it ties in beautifully with this space. piece is one y'all that I am so very proud of I am I really love how this piece turned out so I don't know if you've ever scrolled through restoration hardware's website but y'all they have got some magnificent pieces and one afternoon I was just scrolling through their website dreaming and I came across this darling little bench that they had displayed at the foot of a bed and it was very very costly and so I thought you know what I think Michael and I can DIY this cute little bench so we set to work DIYing this and I really think that the results are nearly identical to our inspiration piece. Anytime Michael and I set out on our creative journeys to DIY a piece, it always starts with first drawing up a plan. It's usually just a rough sketch on Michael's little whiteboard, and then we have to decide on measurements. We need to decide how big we want this piece to be, and that is the beauty of custom DIYing projects is because you can Find the space that you want the piece to be, or if you've got a space that you need a specific size for, DIYing is awesome for that because you can create custom sizes to specifically fit your specific space. So that is how we started out this project, was creating our plan, and then we set about cutting all of our wood pieces to size. <laughs> Michael and I were having a little design meeting to finalize the plans for how we want the skirting and the legs to look on this piece. And in the end, this is the look we went with, and here it is all finished. I love how this bench turned out, but y'all, we need to make this just a little more rustic. I want everything in this space to look mostly new, but we have to have that one element of rustic. So we are going to 
take this bench and just give it a little bit of aging. <laughs> We're gonna speed age this. So I am using a few tools here. I've got the chop saw or the jigsaw, and then we have a uh, grinding wheel on the drill, and then I'm also going to use the sander. And I just kind of start tearing into this bench and making it look as rustic as I possibly can. This did give Michael a little bit of a moment, y'all. But in the end, I think it looks really, really cool. I really really wanted in this space was an accent wall but I didn't want just your ordinary painted colored accent wall I wanted something with lots of texture and lots of movement so Michael and I made a trip to Home Depot and we looked through all of their you know pre-made panelings because we knew we wanted to keep this keep the expense down on this and but still have something that was you know good quality so we looked through all of their pre-made paneling and at the end we decided on this beadboard and y'all I really love how this wall turned out it was a little tricky to put up it did take two of us to do this but we got it done and when it was all installed I was like oh we need to add something more to this so I decided to add a picture rail to the very top of this and I love being able to have some art up here I just think it think it brings a lot of life to this room but also gives it that nice warm cozy feel. Project that Michael and I DIY'd for this bedroom makeover was some new bedside tables because I didn't actually have any bedside tables in this space at all. <laughs> so a lot of times when I would have company and guests were actually using this room, I would just kind of throw something in here quickly. So to eliminate doing that in the future, Michael made me some really gorgeous bedside tables. These were very simple. I love how they turned out and Michael did an amazing job. They really added a lot to the room and they added a lot of function to the room as well. These bedside tables were actually so easy to make y'all. We first started by purchasing some of these pre-cut wood rounds from Lowe's and then we decided how far inset we wanted each of the legs to be. Once that was determined, Michael divided that by three so that we knew exactly how to position all three legs. And then we took them over to the chop saw and cut each of them to length. Now Michael is finding center on each one of these dowels because we are going to take these back to the chop, chop saw, level them all out, make sure that we get the, the um, lines perfectly straight. So like you want them to be perpendicular to the angle here. And then we cut these at 10 degrees because we are going to create some splayed legs on each of the tables. Now we can go ahead and find center once again on our legs so that we can go ahead and um, install the double head screw. So the first thing Michael's going to do is pre-drill that, then we will insert the double head screw so that we can attach these legs to the tabletop.
like most DIY projects, we have a last minute design change. So we decided to taper these legs just a little bit towards the end. And Michael is literally just using the sander to taper these legs down. So now it's time to attach the legs to our tabletop. So Michael did add a little bit of wood glue on each one of these just to give us a little extra added reinforcement. I love how these turn out, y'all, and I especially love how easy they were to make. So we decided to leave ours natural, but you could obviously stain yours any color of your choice. <laughs> intensive projects for this room have been completed it was time to move on to decorating and y'all know that is my absolute favorite part to any project is decorating a space and when I decided to decorate in here I did want to keep the decorations somewhat minimal I didn't want to clutter the room with a whole lot of decor pieces because when I have company come and stay I kind of want them to be able to make this space their own and you know just kind of you know when you're away from home you just want to feel at home so that was what I was trying to achieve with some of the decor so I did keep it minimal but we still have some <laughs> decor and in the end I love how this room turned out I do think it is a very cozy inviting space Here is just a little peek of what this room somewhat looked like before we embarked on this endeavor. It was very, very country, y'all. I had, it was very farmhouse and I decided it needed to just grow up a little bit and mature a little bit. So we took this country farmhouse room and turned it into this gorgeous mid-century modern. Because we are redoing this room on a budget, I wanted to use as many pieces as I possibly could. So I had this vase, I did not, I love the vase, but did not like the color palette. So I simply spray painted it and then added it to the dresser with some faux stems. I also wanted to keep the decor here very decorative, but yet functional at the same time. So I added in this basket of guest towels as well as a mirror. Hi everyone. <laughs> and I like just this simple trio vignette on the dresser. To the bedding, I also wanted to keep things very neutral here. So I layered in lots of throw pillows to give this texture and dimension. wanted to create a cozy little seating area like reading nook or writing nook in this space so I put the rocker in the corner added in just a simple blanket ladder with a few throws painted the rocker which I really love how it turned out and then of course paired it with our writing desk a lamp and a little bit of art and the bench y'all this is my favorite piece in this entire room. I love how this turned out and I think it looks so good at the foot of the bed. I love art y'all. So creating this gallery rail on our accent wall was one of my favorite elements to the entire room. I love the art so much and I especially love that we could change this art out for all the seasons. Mm -hmm. 
Overall, I love the end results to this entire space. I love how it just feels so warm and cozy. And I especially love that we redid this entire space on an affordable budget. Alrighty, my darling friends, that is it for this episode. That is going to wrap things up. I know this was a little bit different from our norm, but it was a project that Michael and I really needed to tackle and so we thought it would be fun to just share the process with y'all and I do hope that we have somehow inspired you through this episode if y'all have a room in your home that you are looking to redecorate maybe this gave you some ideas for your new space Okay, friends, so next week we are going to jump into some really fun early spring crafty DIY home decor pieces. So y'all come back and see me again next week. Until then, y'all take care and I will see you soon. Bye.